Okay, I thought I'd do a product review. Uh, we do shooting and firing range stuff, and uh, this is definitely related to uh, all of that and more. Uh, presbyopia, or difficulty reading when you get older, I've uh, been kind of impacted by that. What happens is I can't focus on things close up as easily as I used to. Now, I've discovered if I, like I'm reading a book, I can sit there, my eyes will adjust, and I can read, and I, I do fine. But if I want to pick this box up and tell you what kind of ammunition this is, um, I can, uh, well, let's just say that I can't quite make it out. So I need reading glasses, and I have a lot of reading glasses. I have them on my desk, in the shop, in the house, on the workbenches. I lose them all the time. I just... I go get the inexpensive reading glasses. I've tried to carry them on me. It just doesn't work out. So if you're facing the same challenge that I do with that, this might help you out. I saw this uh, product called Thin Optics. I decided to try them out here. And the idea with this little container is that you're supposed to be able to stick it on the back of your cell phone. And I could do that, but Honestly, I just don't want to. It does make the phone thicker, and I have a preferred position. But uh, it does protect it, and I carry it in a pocket in my jeans. It's become part of my everyday carry, and it's it's been very durable. I've been carrying it uh, over a month now, and they're just good to have in a, you know, call it an emergency situation, but a preparedness situation, whatever the case may be. Uh, I, I can pull these out if I'm out, you know, I've gone to a restaurant or uh, I've gone to the DMV to fill out some paperwork or whatever the case may be, I can have a pair of reading glasses with me. Now, they're not the, the most, um, they're not uncomfortable, but of course they're not the most comfortable, easy to wear things in the world. They just clip onto your nose and they stay surprisingly well and now I can read. Warning, keep out of reach of children. Oh, man. Yep, they can't reach it, so we've complied. Uh, but now I can read, and that's important as you get a little bit older to be able to read. So if you're having the same problem and you, you've already crushed, say, three pair of reading glasses by either sitting on them or stepping on them, uh, check out Thin Optics. They're not the, you know, they were 25 bucks. That's sad. Uh, a little bit pricey to me, but honestly not a deal breaker. Uh, they seem to be quality made and treated right. They seem to be lasting. I'm sure they're breakable, even though they say that they're not breakable. I, I'm positive that they're, they could be broken. But, um, you know, if, if you face the same challenge that I have, check them out. I'm happy with them so far. Uh, these, are, I think, are the one and a half power. And they do stay on my nose. Uh, pretty good except what I smile. Uh, if I smile or squinch my nose, they, you know, they tend to get a little bit loose. If I start laughing, I can knock them off. But generally at the DMV, you're not laughing. So that's not a problem. But uh, they do just clip onto the bridge of your nose. They've got these little, I guess that's metal. You can zoom in. Flexes in the middle. They're, they're very flexible. Uh, again, they're, they're very easy. You just slide them on your nose. They, they grip right on. And, you know, you can look around, shake. Um, it's just, uh, it's probably just because my face is fat, but we won't talk about that. If I squinch my nose or start laughing, I can knock them off. Otherwise, they stay on just fine. Uh, you know, you can shake your head, look up and down. And they work well. So, Getting them back in the case, I found if you just put one side in first and then bend over, put the other side in, push down, they slip right back in the case. And then you can put them in your pocket and they're always with you. So check them out. I like them.